Have you ever wondered what it means to prophesy with your art, to create with the Holy Spirit and see God actually use your art in powerful ways to touch others? Well, we're going to give you some answers to that today here on 5-Minute Mentoring. You know, there are a couple of things that I think about, you know, that are just kind of standard when you think about our work being prophetic. I think about 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3, that says, he who prophesies, you always want to do what? Edify, encourage, and comfort. So a lot of times your work will do that. It will strengthen somebody. Somebody may hear a song that you write or, or sing or perform. They may read a book that you have just written. They may see a piece of, of work or interact with a play or a dance in some way. And they may feel strengthened or encouraged or maybe that story or maybe that song brings brings comfort to them. Maybe the, the painting that they see reminds them of a place that they felt comfort, they felt strengthened in their life. And so God can use that is this beautiful intersection point to bring strength and comfort and edification uh, to somebody, which is a beautiful thing. And you know, the, the cool thing about prophetic art and just being a kingdom artist is that God does what he does through us, both covertly and overtly. <laughs> On the overt side, it may be that, hey, you come into the studio, you want to create a piece that's going to intentionally speak a certain message or convey a certain thought or comfort or whatever. And God does that in an incredible way. And it's beautiful. Other times it's in the mystery. That's how it happens with me a lot. I'm just in the studio doing what I do. I create pieces. And then as I release it to others, they begin to see the light and life of God. God begins to speak to them in ways that I never even thought possible, which is sort of the, the covert way that God speaks through our art as well. Again, the beautiful part is I get to trust him in the process as I bring what I bring to the table, which is my art, my skill, my energy, my focus, my determination, my tenacity, my, all of that. As I bring all that into the studio, God is the one that shows up and brings the multiplication. And then, you know, sometimes our art is also called to challenge and to, you know, equip people to maybe convict them of, of different things that are going on in their life. Sometimes, you know, you may see a piece of art that really convicts on a certain message uh, of sin or of social justice or of how God wants to bring change in a culture, whatever it may be. God can use that just as powerfully, even though it may not be family friendly or G rated or the nice little fluffy thing, you know, the, the kind of the traditional church uh, type of art that you might see out there, God can still use it and wants to use it in a really powerful, powerful way, because art is this language that God gives us to go beyond just the, the natural, normal sort of up top in our, in our left brain, you know, sort of decision making, it goes right to that limbic system. It goes right to the heart, right to the emotion and can hit quicker. It can bring change quicker. It can affect movement inside of people quicker. And I believe that that's why God uses and the prophets use and Jesus used creative expression through storytelling and the, the prophets through dramatic interpretation and through Jeremiah going to the potter's house and through the beauty of the tabernacle of David and the tabernacle of, of Moses and just the way that the biblical narrative talks about the beauty of God. It is important that we realize that God uses beauty and story and creativity to speak to his kingdom and to convey the truth of his kingdom to a world that is often hurting and dying and looking for answers in places that many times the church is not giving. It's artists that are able to bring that side of the beauty of God, the nature of God, and give a glimpse into who God is and what he wants to do in their life. My friend, wherever you are on your journey with the Lord uh, as an artist, realize your work is prophetic. <laughs> when you invite Holy Spirit into your creative process. When you invited Jesus into your heart, he came in and transformed you, but he, he wants to continue that transformation in and through your work. Not so you make overtly pieces, pieces of overt Christian art necessarily, but, but that you would allow him to infuse your creative process and your creative product with his presence 
and walk with expectancy in your heart, knowing that he's going to do some incredible, incredible things in and through that if you'll let him. Hey, friend, I'm glad you're with me today here on 5-Minute Mentoring. If this has been a blessing to you, please make sure that you comment below, that you share uh, this episode with others, and that you let us know that you're out there listening. Also, I've got a huge resource on our website that's absolutely free, and it's a, about, gosh, it's a huge <laughs> resource that talks about prophetic art and uh, the biblical basis of prophetic art, great artists that are doing prophetic art now, how God inspires people, just lots and lots and lots of great things that you can find out about prophetic art. If you'll just go to our website, click the link that's right here below, and you can get uh, access to that. If that's a blessing to you as well, be sure to share that with others and let me know that you are finding that really helpful by tagging us on Instagram, tagging us on Facebook, commenting on YouTube, on Pinterest, wherever you may be finding uh, this resource. All right. Love you very much, my friend. Until next time, remember you were created to thrive. All right, bye.